Hey, how many of you are garlic fans? In my house, everyone is a garlic fan. If you live here, you kind of have to be. Um, the joke was always, if it's not dessert, it has garlic in the plumber house. And so I'm gonna show you my favorite garlic tools. We have the garlic press, which a lot of people have, and uh, very popular, it's been around for years. This is great for pressing your garlic. I like to use this if I'm browning hamburger, browning any kind of meat where you wanna really incorporate it into the meat. Also great if you're doing like pizza or cheesy garlic bread or something that you really want a punch of garlic. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our clove of garlic. You don't peel it first, okay? I also like to put it kind of hump side up into the hopper, which seems backwards. You'd think you'd put it the other way. And then we're gonna take it. I should have put a little prep bowl here. Let's do a prep bowl, okay. We're going to take the garlic and we're just going to squeeze. That's a lot of garlic. Um, comes right back up onto the foot most of the time. Just kick it into the garbage. If it doesn't, it's um, all of the, it comes off as one big kind of peeling, one paper, um, and that digs out of the hopper really easily. So that's the garlic press. Love, love, love that. And then this is the garlic peeler and slicer. Now this is gonna be a mellower flavor of the garlic. It's not gonna quite have quite as much of a punch as the garlic press does. So you put your garlic in here off of the same head of garlic, put it in there, and then I'm just gonna give it a roll on the table. And the whole clove comes out, and here's the paper. So you don't have to peel your clove first. It's super cool, huh? And then you just take it into the garlic slicer. Easy to clean, dishwasher safe if you choose. Throw it right in there. No, this was a really big, really big clove of garlic. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to just cut that in half. Usually I can just plop them right in there. You can do two, three, four cloves, whatever you like. Uh, put the garlic in here, and then you just turn. And as you can see, it's almost like a pencil sharpener. So you get your garlic really, really fine. Um, so I love to use this if I am going to, say, make spaghetti. I'll put it in my, in my sauce, or I'll even put it in my water when I'm boiling my pasta. Um, great if you're sauteing, say you're cooking up some chicken breast or whatnot. I just put it in everything. If it's, if it's not dessert, throw some garlic in it. So enjoy. Hope you love garlic as much as me.